I am Pinstar, and this is Hatiful Boyfriend Strategy and Tactics. So, say you are a lone human girl in a world populated by sentient, talking, and in this case, male birds. What do, what's, a, what's a girl to do if she cannot find love among her own species? How can she woo the hearts of these avians? Well, today, if you're having difficulty, I will provide guidance here as we go through a playthrough of Hatiful Boyfriend. Let us begin. Welcome to St. Pigeonations. Please enter your name. Oh yeah, this takes place in Japan. But nah, we'll go with... Uh, who is our who is our lone person? Well, maybe this is a, f uh, a, a weird future for uh, young Farah here. Is Farah Starch okay? I hope so. She is in a world populated by talking birds, so uh, let's hope she's... Hatiful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module, allowing even the birdiest of birds to appear as normal humans when first introduced. Display human portraits? What? No, we're here for birds! Come on! Who wants normal humans? Blah! No! No! Configuration save. Thank you. Thank you. St. Pigeonation is a school blessed with extensive curricula and facilities. It's already been a year since I entered my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say the school is known for one thing in particular. Schools Japan is no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports come to St. Pigeonation's. The teaching staff and student body are both made up of the diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. It's a long story. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have you've been ready for an hour by now, Farah. Overslept? Ryota Kawara. This rock dove is named Kawara Ryota. We've been... No, it's named Ryota Kawara. Uh, the Japanese do their names differently. Uh, we've been friends since he was barely hatched. Aww. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Not a bad guy. Not a bad guy. Uh, breakfast was inside. It was a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. Wait, no, that was Farah saying that? <laughs> uh... Living as a hunter-gatherer sounds tough. Wow, hunter-gatherer? That's, uh, she's fallen far there. I'd be happy to make you breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. Oh, the bell already? Come on, we have to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. Yes, the classic Japanese squirrel girl late for school. And so Ryota pulled me along? I mean, uh, as far as I can tell, like the birds in this in this uh, in this game are are sentient. They can obviously talk, but I don't think they've like grown to freakishly large human proportions. They're still birds, and humans are still humans. But I, I don't know. I mean, he, he looked like a normal bird, though. Maybe it was just maybe it wasn't zoomed in. Maybe he is actually that size. A bird, a bird, yes, to, not to scale. Today is the start of the new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It's all I could do to adjust the atmosphere last year. Better make up for all that lost fun. First term. Aww. Yeah, they, no, they gotta be regular sized birds. They just have intelligence. I think we're in 3-2. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, old beaks, new beaks. A strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we can all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Good morning, every birdie. Ha, <laughs> every birdie. Er, I'm Nanaki Kazuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. Specialize in math and physics and also some other things. So 
Sir, wake up! It's homeroom! He sleeps with his eyes open? This quail is Nanaki Kazuaki. He's famously a superific math professor. I heard rumors, but I haven't explained him to fall asleep just like that. Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. Ah, I'm sorry. Uh, isn't it just a little warm in here? Which reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shiragone. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, hey, hey! That's no good! But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and dissenters. Anarchy in the streaks! If we do not force him to introduce himself properly, they must keep social order! Well, when you get it like that, you could just say your name, Shiragani, even though I just said your name. Shiragani Lebel Sakua. Thank you for the title screen. It seems this fantail is Shigori Sakia. His feathers would make anybody proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. You know what? Maybe we should go after this guy. I mean, here we are, a, a lowly hunter-gatherer girl. And here's this uh, rather, uh, well, it seems uh, enriched birdie. Perhaps, uh, perhaps we should. I think we might go after him. Sakia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Oh, we'll soften his heart. Lunch already? Today's slipping by so quickly. That reminds me, I had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Where is everyone? Don't you mean every birdie? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly any birdie here. See, yes, come on, come on, consistency. You, you used to have every birdie here. Why didn't you use it here? Huh? Someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not, a morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring in my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Really? I don't really see them over here. I'm, I'm, I'm from America. Um, did you want something from me? Me? He looked away. Oh, what's a good voice for him? Not really. Pretty sure it was him when he felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry, he <laughs> he They were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood. I'm Starch Farah. <laughs> I guess you're gonna start Japaneseing your name too. A sophomore, what about you? You're Nageki. Fushiro Nageki. Freshman. Well, if you're a freshman, you certainly haven't been waiting all summer for them because you weren't sitting in the school all summer because you're a freshman. Maybe it's just because he's a morning dove. He seems a little sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. Nah, we're not wasting our time with him. I keep meeting depressing people today. No, actually, you're, you're the, he's the first depressing person you've met. Now that I've had that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Well, come on, Sakia. What kind of thing is that to say your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. 
You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I have no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Guess even when we're in the same school, that's done is done. I didn't mean to eavesdrop. But I think I overheard something juicy. The ever-popular trendsetter and ladies' man, Sakazaki Yuya! Is, Sakazaki, is Sakuya's brother? I wonder, what made that, I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! You're that whole thing, right? You a friend of Sakuya's? I'm getting there. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Eh. Ha, no sweat. I'll try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies. Uh, although... Since you're a human, relative to me being a bird, you're like a gigantic lady to me. But I'll still stay sexy for you. But what there wasn't too cool. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya. Or Yuya Sakazaki. An upperclassman. Ooh, a senior. Never talked to him before. He's famous, or infamous, throughout the school. Everybody knows him. You're a pharaoh, right? How, how did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. It's kind of not... It's kind of hard to miss you. A single poppy in a field of rye. A single gigantic poppy towering, towering over the field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakya's? I said I was working on it. Not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never had, I never thought that that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe? He is an aristocrat. Actually, he's the genuine article in the flesh. Really? So he doesn't act stuck-up, he's actually rich. All right, that seals it, we're going after him. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, mon ami. Adieu. All right, yeah, we're gonna play hard. To, we're, we're, we're gonna get the hard to get one here. He really is a noble bird. Yeah, come on, social climbing, Farah. That's what we're here for, social climbing. Never heard anything about that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. And by the way, uh, Sakya talks to Yuya. It sounds like Yuya isn't really in on the family fortune. That's all today. Uh, stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sirs, where, where's Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. Perhaps you should go see if he's still there. Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. That's, uh, that's some bird medicine, bird medicine, bird medicine, poison. Do not take under any circumstances. <laughs> Excuse me. Nobody's here. There's no one sleeping behind the curtains, and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instincts feel no presence. There's no birdie here. Ryota? No reply. The infirmary's empty. Where? Did he just go home already? I feel the nervous, little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Whoa, they got all kinds of drugs in here. Ephralipar, trife, lucio, benazine. What do these even do? Care to find out? D -d 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 doctor I'll feed you all kinds of things if you want. Mm -hmm. Yeah, get the music. Get the doctor. No, thank you. This partridge is Wadame Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows he's just talking to him can put you down with Aspergillus, Petisosis, and even worse things, like the heebie jeebies. I never even heard him come into the tour. Ninja Doctor? Yeah, especially being such a fat guy. 
I mean, I'm sure that's kind of how partridges are, but I mean, still, that's a that's a big blob of bird, and he uh, kind of snuck in. Must be wearing sneakers. You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I I heard Ryota Kawar from Two Three was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come to find me before going home? So sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Oh, highly out of that den of evil. He's already gone home. What do I do now? Oh, I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I'll go take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, mig migration, bird watching. So just looking at other birds? Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school. It's always fun, funny watching the birds hop around. I think there are club rooms on the ground floor off to the side. White Dove is having a tantrum outside. Cuckoo! This is no pudding for a man. Cuckoo! Okasan rejects it! It is a lie! A vicious falsification! He's dancing around like a squished pudding. Hey! That's not very nice to the pudding! This is Okosan. He doesn't really look it, but he's supposedly a fantail pigeon. Like, like, Sakazaki? I, I, I think? Either way, he's hyper. Cool! Okasan has suffered a deception most vile! A wretched betrayal! Betrayal? Cool! Okasan instructed that pudding be provided for new members! Cool! But this is no pudding! Ousted! Scorn! Betrayed! Dragged into the street! Shot by those he trusted most! It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. What's wrong with it? Cuckoo! Spare the jests, young lady! Okasan used wing attack! It's super effective. Ah! Your Pokemon. Cool! They'll rue the day they crossed Okasan! He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will! Okasan must now train to achieve true pudding! Farewell! I guess he's part Roadrunner then. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does Pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of school, my second semester at second at Saint Second Pigeonation. Saint Pigeonations. Alright, so now here's where the game really gets going. Uh I think we want to choose the class council today. As you all know, this school doesn't require you to join any club. If you want to, you can, but if you don't, you're free to go home after school. Cool! Okasan has time only for the track team! That's good. Please stop yelling. What about you, Shiragone? A foolish question. I already hold a position here. Oh, that's right, you became student president when you were admitted. Nepotism, ho! Don't we get to vote? Just coming to school is enough for me. Yeah, you have to take care of your mother on your own and all. Hmm, I wonder what I should do. Join me. So, for going, uh, going for Mr. Noble Bird, of course we want to belly up to the seat of power. He already holds the, uh, he already holds the, uh, the position for uh, student council president, so perhaps we could be his number two. That's everyone, isn't it? Have fun! Today's an elective day, what should I do? Attend? Okay, 
little bit of strategy and tactics here. There are actually two different endings you can get when going after Sakazaki. Uh, one of them is the, the true ending. Uh, and one of them is sort of a, a sort of a half ending. Now you do need to get both of those endings in order to unlock the final ending in this game. Um, so we're gonna go after the true ending here. Now, what do you need to do for the true ending? Well, I mean, there's lots of things you need to do to get the true ending for Sakazaki, but uh, one of the most important things is that you always study music class for, for this particular ending. Every single time music class, we sang Birdie Melodies, it was a thing, a little tiring, but singing together is fun. So you went cheap, cheap, cheap? No, probably not. They, they probably just sung. Ta-da! Fair leveled up. Charisma increased by five. Holy crap, look at that val vitality compared to Charisma and Wisdom. We are, we are healthy. We are capital H healthy, but holy crap. I was pretty sure I wanted to join it, but what does this council do again? We skipped the vote. I think it's only Saki and me. Anyway, call the meeting. To, so to the council room I go. Ooh, pretty. This looks like a CEO's office. Naturally, what do you th think I would stand for anything less? Hi, Sakia. So you had this done? Hm. This room used to be filthy. Better suited for rabbits than us. What a prank. Have you decided what position you will take? I get to choose? Who is there to choose for you, dumb Japanese? Aren't you Japanese too, Sakia? Do not muck me. I am French. I, I, I just can't do a French accent, so I'm not going to try. A French noble bird. This sounds delicious. I guess I have to pick a post now. Oh, yeah. Social climbing. I guess I'll be, I think I'll be the vice president, treasurer, clerk. Well, you know what? We need to show them that we want power. We want prestige. We can't be president. He's got that. And I don't think we've got the clout to challenge him on that. But I think the next closest thing will make him impressed. You wish to be my right wing? Ha ha. You've got nerve. I like that. I think I just got bonded with, gosh, he looks pretty happy right now. So I became vice president of the student council. Ah, uh, sitting at home is so really- Wait, wait, what? This is her home? She's a cave woman? That's what it looks like. Oh, well, she did say she is a hunter-gatherer, and she lives in a cave. I don't see any beds or anything. She hasn't mentioned the use of a smartphone or any other kinds of fancy personal electronics. Um, tomorrow's the class hike. Should I prepare anything? I won't be going far, so I don't have to. Well, health first. I think I'll have Udon and go to sleep. Today's the hike. Stop for a break on the hillside. Who should I talk to? <coughs> yes, health is important. Talk to... Well, of course, Sakuya. Yeah? We got a bond with him. We are... We again, so climb the ladder. Unacceptable. In a temper as usual. Why? Why do I have to come to a place like this and on foot? You mean on, on Talon? Or, or, I guess I guess those are feet too, yeah. It's a hike, Sakia. You have to walk. For what purpose? As exercise? Foolishness. Exercise is for peasants. No, for fun. You're supposed to enjoy the change of scenery. Look over here. Don't we have a nice view? Sakia looks like he still has something to say, but reluctantly comes over to me. I think maybe he's acting angrier than he really is. Sheesh, what a kid. Hey, the things we put up for money. Hey, I and mean, come on, we're uh, we're a uh, we're a freaking hunting gather hunter gatherer cave woman here. We 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 need all the we need all the the social class we can get. All right, once again, music class. Get that get that prettiness up. 
get the prettiness up. Today's music lesson. So much for thinking outside. So much for thinking outside the box. Oh. 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 That's as bad as the ones I make sometimes. I feel like I'm going to fly off the handle. But what is this Mozart all about? All right, that one doesn't... That, that, that one doesn't make sense. All right, flying off the handle, I'll give you that one. But what is what Mozart is all about? Uh, no. No, no, too much of a stretch. I wonder what those wigs are like. They look like they're wearing ptarmigans on their heads. Do you seek to mock the great masters, low-born Philistine? Oops, I think I set him off. Wasterag! Song. Bear leveled up and Chris increased by five. Yeah, that's right. Get the prettiness going. Get the prettiness going. Er, I imagine you're all aware, but sports festival is right around the corner. Please think about what you'll do. Sports festival already? Maybe in the fall, it might conflict with the cultural festival. So it's always been in May. What are you gonna do, Ryota? I haven't decided, but probably the three-legged race. Some birdie has to. Cool! Akasan will handle the marathon! Indeed he will! You do have a lot of stamina, Okasan. What about you, Sakia? You can't possibly be expecting me to run in some race, can you? It is a sports festival. Is there an event that doesn't involve running? How about being a cheerleader? The general, in other words. Very well, leave it to me. Um, I don't think that's... Also, the first aid team is always shorthanded, because, uh, you know, birds and hollow bones, probably a lot of injuries. Especially if they're running alongside a human, and you actually accidentally step on one. A lot of, lot of first aid people needed. So I'm sure they could use help if any birdie can't decide. Yeah, first aid in the rubby means working with the doctor. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. That's all for today. Yuta's doing the three-legged race. Okasan's running the marathon, and Saki is a cheerleader. Yuya might be running the first aid tent. What should I do? I have to think about it. Oh, I know what we're doing. We're buddying up with our social... Our social buddy! Today's the sports festival! I never did make up my mind. What should I do? Go to the... Library. <laughs> no, we're not antisocial. We're going to the cheerleaders! Yay! Get your pom poms! There's something about a crowd around, uh, around the cheerleaders. I see Sakya and a brass band. I guess they're doing the background music. I think I saw something similar during the changing of the guard at Buckingham Palace, but that's British. Wouldn't there be like a. Oh, never mind. You're here! You're not cutting any corners, I see. Naturally not. Only the best from a level. <laughs> sir, hmm. sir, preparations are complete, sir. Your orders, sir. Very well. Begin. And so the band began to play. Where did he get all these people? You mean birdies? They all look like professionals. Shouldn't cheerleaders be students? You! Join in! Um, okay. I seem to be in charge of the symbols. Yay! Cave woman human gets to bang things together! That's thing something she's good at naturally. Run long slip and I'll be the laughing stock of the playground. Yikes! Saki is conducting awful flashy. Is this the label style? Eh, he's just got some fla flourishes. Well, it didn't tell me how well I was with the symbol. Did I rock the symbols? Come on, I gotta know! The first barrier for all students who make it this far is the midterm exam. We're getting them back today. Uh, I don't think I did too well. Starch! Yes? Mm, I don't think you did too badly. Yes? No, n nope, no, sorry, you did badly. <laughs> You're dumb as a brick. You're a cave woman. No! Try harder next time, okay? But I, I don't need education if I have if I marry into money, right? Okay. 
disappointed Mr. Naki. I'll have to study more from now on. Yeah, if you went for wisdom, you'd get better, better grades. But we're not doing that. We need to be pretty. We must be pretty. With the festival in the midterm over, there's nothing to look forward to but the summer heat. Doves smell kind of funny when it gets humid like this. Huh? There's a bunch of birds out in the staff room. What are they doing? Oh, there you, there's Yuya. Yuya! What's going on? Salutations, fair. Brian won his seventh Pulitzer. He gestures to a news clipping in the staff room pin board. Brian, the first intelligent pigeon, crowned again. Brian? Don't tell me you don't know who he is. I think I've heard the name, but... He's the world's most famous blogger. He began when birds are barely intelligent. He's a very skilled and insightful writer. He's the one who suggested that uh, the Dove Olympics be called the Pidge Olympics. He's extremely influential. The name was adopted right away. Why don't you look him up right now, Monomi? Try Googling Brian Pigeon. No, seriously, like, 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 pause the video here and Google Brian Pigeon. There's actually a freaking blog from Brian Pigeon. Talk about an alternate reality game here. They, they It is a blog by Brian Pigeon that ties into the game here. Like, you don't need to read it all to, to get, like, a lot of the plot points, but it gives you a little background and insight and whatnot. Just, just, uh, just a cool little thing that is actually a thing. Okay. Okay. Uh-oh, lunch is nearly over. Adieu, Farah. Better, better, better hurry back to class. <laughs> Hello, very, uh, every, uh? There's a pile of overturned desks in the middle of the floor. Ryota is overturned next to them. Rock doves, underwings, and bellies are so light they look pretty different upside down. I mean, wait, what's going on? Okasan and Sakia are... Look up to see the two of them at each other's throats in the corner. I think we might have a diplomatic incident in our hands. What happened, Ryota? Sakio was making fun of Okosan, called him a stupid mongrel who only thinks about imaginary pudding, and he said he was ashamed to be in the same class. That's terrible! I mean, Okosan is a nutcase. I don't know what he's saying half the time, but he really does like pudding. Uh, either way, Okosan kind of went for the jugular and. You tried to pull them apart, and, and Okosan used wing attack on you. Yep, you're our only hope now. Being fair, <laughs> Okasan will not allow Pudding or himself to be ridiculed. You will apologize. You tell me to take back my word. I shall not. A mongrel like you. Who hasn't even the right to speak to me? Okasan is not a mongrel! The battle still rages and it looks like Ryota's sacrifice was in vain. I should. Oh, who do you think I'm gonna side with? Really? I mean, alright. The French noble bird with money and connections and prestige and clout and, you know, a house? Um, or this nut bar, who dreams of pudding. No, it's not good, yeah. Okasan, settle down. This is a classroom. Ooh, this is a matter between doves. Stay out of it, Farah. You are a credit to your simian ancestry, Starch. I respect your judgment. Cool. I catch Akasan and throw him out the window. Yeah, see, like, catch him in my hands. These birds are bird-sized. So I just, just scooped him off the ground and chucked him out the window. Uh, presumably an open window. I don't think, I don't think Fair is quite that brutal. Just because you're angry doesn't mean you can make a mess. Come back when in when you're prepared to be civilized. That's right! Hmm, today's a good day. I feel like I'm shining. I wonder what I should do during break. Go to the... Store, infirmary, or the cafeteria. Hmm. Well, I'm not going to the infirmary, uh, being that we just said we feel well and we don't want to particularly pay a visit to the doctor. To the store? Well, maybe. So 
cafeteria. Eh, let's go to the store. I don't really need anything, but I think I'll go to the store. Never really looked around there before. Hey, that rhymed. Wow, they've got all nice of things. Bath! Bath! I want some bath! Can I have some bath? Or no, biff! It looked like an A. Kind of looked like an A, but it's, maybe it's not a Biff! I want some Biff! Biff and Biff! Can I... Can, did my order of Biff come in? My, how mature are you, Monomy? Planning to settle down already? Yuya! No, 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 that's not it. I'm, I'm still a high school student. That may be so, but, well, you know we does to reach sexual maturity within a year of birth. Wow! I'm not, I'm not going to go into the implications there. I'm not going to go into the implications there. We're just going to leave that there. That is a stated fact. And we're going to move on with our lives. They do? That seems a little hasty. That aside, what are you here to buy, Yuya? Your love, of course. Oh my. Looks like the, it looks like I got both brothers interested in me. My, uh, that Yuya, we're, we're not, um, I'm not good enough? Oh well, I'll have to try again later. Is this how he talks to every girl he meets? Uh, I'll let it slide. We don't wanna, we don't wanna... Well, now I'll let it slide. It's not like he's, it's not, it's not that surprising it's coming from him. Oh, another elective day, time to increase sexiness. Musical sexiness. I'll have to stand up and sing solos today. Ah, I'm nervous. This voice is beautiful. I like mine. <laughs> Fair level up. Charisma increased by five. Disregard knowledge increase sexiness. Today is Tabata. Uh, there's probably a bamboo tree in the plaza this year, too. I think I'll go make a wish. Wow, there's lots here already. Anybody I know? Impossibly nest pus blah 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 blah. I don't, I, I, I don't, I don't read French. But it's, yeah, it's Mr. Le, Mr. Lavelle. Ah. Uh. Oh. Oh, the mad love of a fallen angel. This one, by the way, folks, starts a completely different path if you choose this one. It doesn't even unlock until you've unlocked a few things in the game, but we're not going to go the, mad, the the fallen angel route this time. It's so much I want to. So much I want to, because this birdie, this birdie, we haven't met yet. This birdie is, this birdie's my bird. Uh, but nope, we're going to go the artistic route. Oh, hello, is that you, Starch? Mr. Nanaki, you should be careful out this lake. It can be dangerous for a girl, you know. I was about to head home. Would you like to you know, walk you to your place? Um. Uh. Nah. No, thank you. I still have some errands to run. And I'm also significantly larger than, like, any hoodlums and ruffians that might be around, so I could probably just step on them. Okay, don't stay out too late. Wasn't the Keymania IIDX public playtest starting today? Maybe I'll stop by the arcade. Oh, it's made like a dance dance revolution, but with keys? Who can start the car fastest and in, into the rhythm? Hey, another elective day! A ten? Oh, you know where we're going, folks. Music class! I've been placed in charge of the timpani today. Last time it was the gong. What am I supposed to be? The musical gorilla? Um, actually, yes, you're a cave woman. And despite your ever increasing sexiness, that doesn't quite compare to your physical strength. So, yes, they're gonna make you bang on things. Not to mention you're larger, so you can exert a larger force and make a larger, louder sound. So, yeah, musical gorilla, I think, is ac accurate here. 
We get our finals back today. I'm not sure how well I did. Starch! Sir! You didn't do too badly, I think. Yes, you... No, never mind. You did badly. You're dumb as a rock. No! Try harder next time. Try to spell your own name correctly, you stupid human. I disappointed Mr. Tanaki. to study more from now on. Yeah, study more sexiness! Today's the last day. It's been a semester already. Sometimes it seemed long, sometimes it seemed short, but either way, it's summer now. I think Saki has said, uh, said to help him clean the council room before going home. He always gets angry if I make him wait, so I should hurry. You're late! I came as fast as I could. Sorry, Sakya. Let's start cleaning. Very well. First move the shelf and chairs. There's dust underneath. Okay. Next, inside the cupboard, arrange the files by date. Okay. And then the floor. Polish it at least three times. And the wit. Hold on, hold on. You're telling me to do it by myself? Who else is there? You bonehead. You hear, you hear the growl? You hear the growl? That was the growl. That was a feral growl. Maybe I should stand up to him. Yep. Yeah, we're going to stand up to him. I mean, we we want to, to, to warm up to him, but we got to set some standards. Otherwise, we are just a push broom to him. We are not going to be a literal trophy wife. Saki, I am the vice president, not the chair, not the chairwoman. Is that so? My job is to help you. So maybe you should be taking the lead role in cleaning up. That's why I'm giving you orders. No, geez, look, here's a mop. Work! I, you, what? You know how to use it, right? Probably not, actually. Let's get started. Don't tell me you've never, of course not. Talk about living in the lap of luxury. Yeah, I want in on that, but we got to set some standards. I'm not a servant. I'm not joining up as a servant. We got we to gotta make sure we secure ourselves higher up, higher up in the social hierarchy. And so Sakya reluctantly helped me clean. Thought he might complain for a while, but he certainly can be obedient. Excellent. Now then, the sooner we finish, the sooner we get to go home. It's easy to fall out of practice and get fat and lazy during summer vacation. Hunter-gatherer's body is her way of life, so maybe I'll go running today. Run, 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 run. Run, 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 run. Uh, holy crap. That, 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 that was a wrecked skyline. Run, 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 run. Ah, that was a good run. A true running girl's way to start a vacation. I wonder how far I ran. I always lose track of where I'm going once the runner's high kicks in. Well, that 800 vitality certainly helps. Where, where am I? I must have wandered out of my usual stomping ground at some point. Which way did I come from? Uh, don't fail me now, Paleolithic homing instinct. The sun's setting. I'd rather not sleep outside. Hey, you! Me? Hmm? I don't know you. I don't know you! Where'd you come from? Sparrow stands next to me, squinting up at my face. Another thing that, that, that yeah, she's towering over her. Her wing, her wing is resting on a motor scooter. It's a disaster. Looks a little bit vintage. How cute! I feel a strange pressure. Wow. Uh, tell right away this sparrow. This isn't anybody. Um, I'm from St. Patrick Nations. I was out for a run and got lost. You ran all the way up here? You must be good. It's about a two hour drive from. Holy crap! How far did we run? We, we ran far enough to get back is a two-hour drive? Yeah, 800 vitality. Holy crap. What? I guess that's why my legs hurt. I'm surprised they're still attached. Ah, I wonder if I'll be able to run home again. Probably not. I just ran a freaking marathon. Mm, I like the cut of your jib. Anyone that determined deserves a ride home. Come on! Intimidating st sparrow gestures at her scooter. It's a little small. Hey, the first free female bird here. See, it's not all males. Just at the school. 
A little small, but... Um, all right, again, trying to think of, of scale here. So, a scooter that a bird could operate, and yet a human could also fit on it. Um, uh, thank you, may I ask your name? Kashiyama Azami. I sell takoyaki. Call me Azami. Thank you, Azami. You're a very cautious driver. Carve it into your soul, kid. One accident is all it would take, and that would be the end of both our lives. Oh, actually, you're the one with the hollow bones. Probably just yours. We got 800 vitality. I think we can fall off a scooter and survive. I mean, unless another car hits us. Then, yeah, if a car hits us, then we're toast. But are there cars on the roads now that they're all birds? I mean... Would they drive full sized? You know, like would would a bird be driving an SUV? Uh, again, issues of scale here. I'm I'm wrapping my brain around it. It may seem strange to a young girl like you, but once you've lost someone, you'll understand. It's a far off look in her eyes. Sure, you know what you're talking about. At this rate, I might get home faster by walking. Yeah, so it is like a little tiny scooter. So she's just like kind of squatting on the side and somehow not crushing it. Do you think we'll get here by dawn? Carve it into your soul. The speed limit for scooters is 30 kilometers per hour. Wow, that's really freaking slow. I, 30 miles per hour, and I'm like, ugh. 30 kilometers per hour? Ugh. We're not even going that fast. Following traffic laws is part of my credo. Isn't riding in tandem against the law, too? That rule is for humans. Birds are light. So one more or two doesn't stop the brakes from working. We're fine like this. But I'm not a bird. Uh, and so we put it along at Azami's hyper-cautious speed. By the time we got to my house, it was almost light out. <laughs> it's still a long time until the semester starts. And I still have a lot of homework. Maybe I should apply for a part-time job since I have the chance. I'll... Forget it. There is a separate uh, ending that you can get by getting the job and going through that whole thing, but our sites are not on part-time jobs. Our sites are on impressing our birdie back at school, so we're going to forget it. Eh, I think I'll wait until I'm in college. That way I can skip lectures and go to work. Slacking off and having fun is more more of the high schooler thing to do anyway. Whee! And I'm still resting my, resting my legs. Today is the local summer festival. I think I'll go with some birdie. Oh, I wonder. So, shoe? Shoe? Yes, there's there's actually two endings. The shoe. And you need them to get the full thing here. Is that a random spoon? That's a random spoon. But no, we're going Sakya. Sakya, over here! You've got the nerve to call me out during vacation. What is it? All right, you just moved here, you so you wouldn't have known. Today's the festival. Let's go together. Festival? What's that? You'll understand when you see it. Come on! What, what in the... Shops! Food! Good fun all around. People can't be possibly eating food prepared like this it's 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 unsanitary it's it's madness don't worry there haven't been any reports of food poisoning for two years so there were reports uh three years ago yep guiding the panic-stricken sake around the festival is a little troublesome but hilarious nonetheless and so the night wears on huh where did you buy that candy apple sakya they had an interesting color, and so I thought I would buy one. I'm not going to eat it. I shall take it home and mount it in a case. Come on! A perfectly good candy apple. Uh, I knew I should have gotten up when I first woke up. I slept way too late. Scarl starts today, right? I'm going to be late. Run, 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 run. Oh, hello, Starch. Sir, I'm sorry I overslept. Overslept? Ah, my homework! I forgot to bring my homework! Aren't you getting a little ahead of yourself, Starch? Huh? 
What's the number at the top left hand corner? <laughs> All right, Kazuaki is a fourth wall breaker. Good job, Kazuaki. I, I respect you. I respect you. And yes, you can date your teacher. But not on this, not in this run through. Ooh, you're just a little early. Wah. Though, since you're here, you can lend me a hand for a bit, Starch. Lend you a hand? I was about to start grading the freshman's exams. I thought you might get help um, if you don't have something else. Of course, if you have a test in September, and I know you want you to study in the library. I want to... Return to my glorious abode. Screw this. I don't need studies. Forgive me, sir, but I need to go home. I must return to my people with the spoils of war! Lay my bloodied sword at the feet of my great king and celebrate conquest of all the lands from here to distant Macedonia. <laughs> what the hell are you on, Farah? Oh, okay, have fun. Um, good morning, everyone. Don't you mean everybody? I hope you had fun over the summer. Ooh, Ogasan is always having fun! Yup, yup! What is this fun? Oh, come on, we had fun at the festival, Sakia. Don't, don't say you didn't have fun there. Once the summer's over, time starts slipping past faster than ever. Try to stay focused. Focus, sir, focus! Second term. In the next episode, which will be a little bit later today. Enjoy.